Hey, good evening and welcome into the recap of the Bears 2022 NFL Draft Class. I'm David Kaplan. Bears entered the draft with six selections, nothing in the first round, nothing in the fourth round. Tip your cap to Ryan Poles. On day three, he got very aggressive. He made four trades and ends up with an 11-player class. So he picked up five extra picks by being willing to move back and then take some flyers on guys who have maybe some good intangibles or measured well at the combine, look good in some of the postseason all-star games, and you take a shot and see what you could find because when you have a team that knows going into next year they're not going to be that good, you could take chances and maybe hit on a lottery ticket. Let me go through their class very quickly. So they got the cornerback, Kyler Gordon, and the safety out of Penn State, Jaquan Brisker, both should be day one starters. Then they go with the Jones kid, the wide receiver and special teamer out of Tennessee. And I called one of my college roommates who scouts in the league, and he said, dude, they got a really good player. This guy's going to be really impactful. So let's hope uh, that they did hit on that pick because it would really address a couple of glaring weaknesses on the roster. Then they took a shot in the offensive line at Braxton Jones out of Southern Utah. Big, strong kid. He was one of four offensive linemen. Olin Krutz, I know you're a happy man when you hear that. Four offensive linemen uh, that the Bears grabbed. They also got an edge guy out of Miami of Ohio, Dominique Robinson. They got a running back out of Baylor. Uh, and then they also had a safety out of California. And then they took a punter in their last uh, selection in the seventh round. I have no problem with that. That way you don't have to try and beat somebody out on the undrafted free agent class. It's your last pick in the seventh round, the 11th pick of your class. They like the kid. He's the fourth punter taken. That is an all-time record in an NFL draft for numbers of punters drafted. Four punters were picked. Look, here's the fact of the matter. Ryan Pace was a very aggressive general manager and it did not work out, whether it was the trade-up for Leonard Floyd, the infamous trade-up for Mitchell Trubisky, the two number one picks for Khalil Mack. All well-intentioned, but didn't work out. So Ryan Poles is left to clean up the mess that he inherited, and he decided to tear this thing pretty far down. They'll get Roquan Smith done on an extension, and then we'll see what they do the rest of the way. But he decided, you know what? We're going to take it down. We'll get a high pick next year. And then we're going to see what we can add through free agency with a ton of cap space a year from right now when they'll have projected almost $150 million in cap space. That's where it's at. Let's hope our guy Poles hits a home run. There's your Bears draft class. You got rookie minicamp coming up. Then you got OTAs. Then you got full team minicamp. And then training camp. Before you know it, the NFL season will be here. So let's get on board and see what happened. Because you know what I said yesterday. None of us know if these dudes are going to make it in the NFL. We can all have our opinions. Let's just hope that the Bears have got this thing moving in the right direction. Have a great rest of your weekend. Bear down. Appreciate you. Tell your friends. Subscribe to our new YouTube page. Take that. See you.